what's up guys welcome to another video welcome back to this channel today i'm going to be presenting to you another amazing javascript library and i'm sure you're going to like this one definitely so without wasting much time let's get straight into it so this is a very popular library as you can see just from the stars it has 11k stars on github and more than 71 million downloads so let's check out why this is such an amazing library and why you definitely need to have it on your project so it's called react slick you can find it at reactslick.neostack.com and what does this library allow you to do well it allows you to create some amazing carousels in the blink of an eye so if you want to have a carousel on your website you want some images to kind of cycle through or have kind of this customization then you want to check out this library because it does an amazing job at that so this is kind of the for the front page right it's kind of easy and it shows you just how fast you can create a carousel you know so all you need to do is to install the library then you put in like just a few lines of code and the way it does it is that you add in the slider tag and then you put in your images in different divs you know that's all you need to do you put in your images in different divs and as it you have your carousel there and no complications and, and no kind of crazy configurations to do you have the settings for the, the slider you can set them the dots the infinite and um, scroll the speed the slides to show the slides to scroll and so on and so forth so it's just kind of straightforward and easy with just a few lines of code you can have an amazing carousel like this one and as you can see it doesn't just work with images it works with virtually anything like everything everything you can put on here as tag as element it can be shown on there you know as you have seen the slider takes in the settings and then you just put in everything into different divs and that's it it's just going to scroll past them so this is not just to create image carousels you can even create like text carousels or informational carousels like whatever whatever html element you want to cycle through you can do just that so let's go ahead and check it out look a little bit into the docs so heading into the docs the quick start you have the quick start the installation is kind of straightforward nothing too complicated on there but let's just see some examples and believe me there are some amazing examples on here so first you have like this simple slider you know you add these few lines of code and then you have your generic slider keep in mind that you can set everything you can set their height the width and so on and so forth like it's very customizable so you have your simple slider on there now if you want multiple elements to show at once you know like here you can see the number you have like three elements showing up on the slider and as you scroll it either jumps to the next three elements or you can cycle one by one and just push the other ones to the left yeah so moving on like all of this is set in the settings you know like here you can see the dots in finite scroll is true the speed slice to show is the race slice um, slice to scroll at is theory and that's how it's able to produce this motion and this effect so that's it it's also very responsive like really really responsive as you can see very responsive like you can reduce this browser enlarge it and all is going to act just the same so like you can see this the customization you can set the responsiveness how it's going to react to different screen sizes like the breakpoint is this screen size you know and then the settings to have in those are those breakpoints that's how you can set it so it, it works for all screens so it's an amazing library with a lot of customization resizable as well you know it's kind of resizable as well you can have it full screen large screen and so on and so forth like i just kind of like how much customization it has like you can do so so many things and that's why it's so popular so popular and so every a lot of i mean like you had 71 million downloads that's not for nothing and it's kind of straightforward so as you can see there's lots of options you can create some amazing sliders check out this double decked slider that is created with just kind of a few lines of code you know there isn't much yeah like it's just the settings that are on here and that's it you're able to create this amazing multiple row slider so it's kind of amazing so if you go ahead you see there are some other options as well if you want a particular element to be sent out and a little bit bigger you can have that as well see this is all of the lines that it takes to do that moving on you have the fade like if you want the elements to fade in fade out you can have that as well 
then you have the lazy load as well so it has so many options just try to refresh the page a little bit and see you know so that's a lazy load you know if the images are a little bit heavy put in the lazy load and they're going to take their time to appear so that's it that's all you need you know just have to put in the lazy load to throw it's going to do that so now you have the variable width if you have images of different widths and you want them to kind of still remain aesthetic you can have that as well you know so that's it <laughs> so it's kind of amazing like this library has so much customization it's, it's, it's mind-boggling actually see so yeah you can have see sliders of different heights adaptive heights like it just moves on and on and so on and so forth like so i just kind of like it how it does it so you have autoplay pause on hover autoplay methods a snuff and so on like swipe to slide like you can swipe to slide if you prefer that it's, it's, it's just like there's just so much there's just so much customization we can go through all of them you can have the images at the bottom as well and so on you have like vertical slider if you prefer like <laughs> it's everything you want it to be focus on select focus on select if you click on one that's what it's going to be focused on right to left stick go to and so on so there are many customization options like previous next and so on and so forth so you definitely want to check out the slider it's kind of easy to implement you add it onto your project and you have all these customization options definitely there are other libraries which allow you to create carousels but most of those libraries don't have all these customization options in those libraries you just have to add like the images and then you just set a particular group of settings and that's it like most of them don't have all of these images to create so many customization options here yeah, look at this you can even add some css styles onto your elements like check that out you can do so much more than just <laughs> adding images and setting a bunch of configuration so definitely check out this library it's an amazing library as you can see it has 11k and 71 million downloads and i think that information is not even up to date so you definitely want to check out this library for creating amazing carousels and sliders onto your website so i hope you enjoy this library i hope you enjoy the video catch you on the next one